I'd like to see software get smarter uh, so that many uh, types of typographic treatments can be done more easily by people that aren't even aware of that. You know, and something that you wouldn't want to force on people, but at least uh, allow them to turn something on that, that helps create that uh, some of the rules that many people out there aren't aware of. I mean, when you come to A-Type-I, you quickly realize just how much combined knowledge and background in particular. I mean, um, Michael Twyman saying he came to the first A-Type-I, his first one, in 1970. I mean, I was 12. It, it, it's amazing how long and how much um, uh, education is here. But many of the customers that we deal with at Adobe are not aware of these things, but they would appreciate you know, kind of smarts that could go into software that would help them with that. And I, I think that's something that um, w would be very interesting. I, I, I don't know that we have any plans to do that, but it, it would be very exciting to see uh, some of the rules. And we talk about discipline freedom, and you see uh, way too much freedom sometimes, and, and you'd like to see that result. And so I, I think that is something to think about as well. Do we have time? For questions from the audience? Do we have any questions from the audience? Can we bring the lights up so we can see the audience? <laughs> but Eve, Peter? I can't see you, but I can see that other people are. I think we'll be able to have an I've had an open back now since 2014, and whenever I'm working in the Adobe products, I feel like I'm trying to box the screen hanging off with the impression that while the comms become more and more like versatile and more and more uh, opportunities to do great work. That especially for time it's very frustrating that when you try to do their thoughts in one of those programs, that for example in Photoshop there is no glyph window, in Illustrator there is no stylistic success, and when you try to do all of that features in Indesign, you have all that three different levels of, of interface to get to what you try to do. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on. Yes, right. Everybody take a deep breath. I, I think that one goes to me. Uh, so I think you raise a very valid point, and uh, I, I will share a certain amount of frustration that we've had as the type three. Um, the last Creative Suite product I worked on was Creative Suite 3, and uh, we had spent several versions trying to uh, further integration in particular across the apps. And uh, what, what we constantly battle with at Adobe is uh, understanding our customer, understanding each one of those application customers' needs, and trying to solve for that. Um, in the end, there's a high degree of autonomy at Adobe for each of those products. Uh, and what I saw happen at Creative Suite 3 uh, was this pendulum swing away from what they were calling suite tax or integration uh, but, um, uh, and moving more towards, we need to satisfy what our customers are asking for most. Um, David kind of 